Hey everybody, this is Bill with Peak Performance Training Systems and I'm here today to talk a little bit about FTP or your functional threshold power. Now, functional threshold power is something that you determine uh, with a power meter on your bicycle. Power meters are crank based, hub based, pedal based, things like that. Now, um, determining your functional threshold power is done by doing a, a power test. And you get out there on your bike, you get yourself a good warm up and you go out there and, and uh, the idea of the functional threshold power was uh, came up through uh, Andrew, Andrew Kogan. And Andrew Kogan, who is uh, a mentor of mine, came up with uh, functional threshold power. And he, it was a simple test of just going out and riding as hard as you can for one hour. Pretty simple. And then seeing what the average wattage was from that. And so that's, that's a very basic test. The test that I like to do, and, and people uh, since that uh, initial one hour test came out, was hey, let's let's take, let's do a 20 minute test. It's not as hard physiologically to do, and you can do it more often. And we'll do a 20 minute test, and then take 95 percent of the power that you that you're able to average uh, for that uh, 20 minutes, and that could be your functional threshold. There's a couple of different, you know, you could do the one hour, you could do 20. You could do 30, you could do a, a couple other ways to determine your functional threshold, but, but I really like using the 20-minute test that works great, it's repeatable. I've got a road nearby my house that I do. I bring all my athletes over to do it on that road because it's consistent. Uh, there's not a lot of wind. We can do it over and over. There's no traffic to get in our way. There's a nice shoulder. Um, we use the same tire pressure, typically the same time of the day. And also, typically, during a rest week, um, and I like to do it every four weeks if possible. If you're using the typical uh, periodization schedule of, of three weeks of building and one week of a recovery time, then you can fit that 20-minute test in during that recovery week at some point uh, when your system's uh, rebuilding and you're feeling pretty strong and go hammer out 20 minutes and uh, and see if you've built anything during during this uh, build period of your season. Now the functional threshold power test is something that you want to do every four to six weeks uh, but maybe not throughout the entire season but during the build season or build time the early part of the season and maybe even part of the race season uh, when you're doing some high intensity intervals, you, you want to make sure that you're training those zones correctly. So the functional threshold power uh, test is something that is super important for training uh, with a power meter. You absolutely have to, to do this test in order to really uh, properly use your power meter to know where you're at during, uh, during the season and during your training and during your racing. Um, so one of the things I want to, to, to reiterate is during the 20 minute test, you want to make sure there's not a lot of wind. You don't do it on a steep hill. You always have the same tire pressure, generally the same road, and do it the same time of the day. So physiologically, it's very, uh, very similar to your body every time you do it. So that's a little bit about functional threshold power. Again, this is Bill with Peak Performance Training Systems. And uh, if you want more free videos, you can go to www.peakpts.com and or subscribe to uh, this YouTube station. And please, at the end of this video, put some comments in the, uh, in the box below and let me know what else you'd like to learn about. Um, is it some kind of racing, some kind of periodization? Is it some kind of threshold training? Uh, give me some feedback and let me know if you enjoyed this video and what all you'd like to learn. Again, Bill with Peak Performance Training System. Take care and aloha.